Sony. Wasar tu nak wajar kimi sama dengan single within mapamanai. The Ministry of Finance issued a communique today in response to the former Central Bank Governor's article, the government's growth scam, which claims that there is some discrepancy in published statistics on gross domestic product and government's debt to GDP ratio. The Ministry of Finance stated, quote, the writer in his article had mentioned three debt to GDP ratios applicable as at end of 2017, while arriving subjectively at his own GDP value as Rs 12,967 billion, whereas the official figure is Rs 13,289 billion, unquote. They further stated that the officially published ratio of debt to GDP in 2017 is 77.6%. However, Ajit Nivad Cabral has endeavoured to manipulate this official figure of the debt to GDP ratio as 82.5% for reasons only known to him. The ministry further went on to clarify that as per the decisions taken by the then Cabinet of Ministers during the period of 2010 to 2013, the loan obtained by certain state-owned enterprises were not included in the government's financial statements. Accordingly, the previous government had transferred the loan balances of Hambantota Port Project, Matale Airport, Ceylon Electricity Board and the Airport and Aviation Services Authority from the central government's financial statement on the assumption that these debts could be repaid by the respective SOs. They further stress that the General Treasury has nothing to hide about the debt-to-GDP ratio or the highest debt liabilities to be meted out in 2018 and 2019. The communique further reads that the General Treasury relies on the independent GDP compiling authority, namely Department of Census and Statistics, when it comes to computing ratios of government statistics vis-à-vis -vis GDP. Hence, the so-called debt or GDP ratio of 82.5% as reported in the newspaper article is a hypothetical figure for which the General Treasury would not need to comment on.